Tonight, News 6 is taking your questions about COVID-19 variants straight to a local doctor. All but two counties have reported cases of the mutated virus that experts say is more contagious. According to data by the CDC, Florida leads the country with 187 known cases of the variant known as B117. At least 16 cases have been detected here in central Florida. News 6's Lauren Cervantes spoke with that doctor this afternoon. We posted on social media wanting to get your questions answered. And today I had the chance to speak with an infectious disease physician asking him a variety of questions on COVID-19 and the new variants. <laughs> Dr. Jared Fox is an infectious disease physician at Orlando Health who sat down with News 6 and allowed us to pick his brain. We asked him a number of questions, starting with this one. Will people have to get inoculated every year for this, like the flu shot, or will this be something where you get the initial vaccine and then get a booster every few years? Right now, we don't know. Um, most of the um, vaccine candidates out there, they're working on um, boosters towards um, a number of the variants. Um, they may not need them, but they're going ahead and producing them just in case we've find out that we do need a booster shot for them. Right now, um, they think that most of the vaccines are effective enough against the South African strain that we may not need the, the booster. Are younger people more susceptible to the new variants of the virus? As of right now, we don't think that, that there's one population that's any more susceptible um, than the other strains. Um, it's just more contagious in general. Are the vaccines that are out there right now effective against all of these variants? the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccines, they've done studies. It is still effective. Um, it's less effective um, against the South African strain than it is the UK strain, um, but it is still effective. Right now, Dr. Fox tells me he is not overly concerned about the new variants, adding that hand washing, masking, and social distancing are still good ways to protect yourself. Coming up at six, more questions answered. For now in Orlando, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6.